Hi, this is Chris with Stupid Raisins, and in this video, I'm gonna show you how to fix grainy video in Final Cut Pro. No, we, we like the grain, we must keep it. But, but that's not what the people want. They don't know what they want. Keep the footage raw and wriggling. I, I think we should leave it up to them. I'm gonna share with you how to use color correction to get the most out of your grainy clips. And then we're gonna take a look at noise reduction and all the nuances of working with that tool. Let's go check that out. All right, so we're here in Final Cut Pro. We're gonna take a look at some footage that I just shot on my iPhone. We're gonna to try to improve this. Uh, you, we can already see, let me go ahead and zoom in here, all this noise back here. We wanna smooth a lot of that out. The first thing I wanna do is go up here to the inspector. And we're gonna click on the color inspector. I recommend either the color board or the color wheels. We also have some uh, other training videos from adjusting brightness to uh, vector scopes that show a little more in depth of how to use these. We'll also come up here to view and open the video scopes. And we're just gonna go for the Luma waveform. So what we're gonna do is we're gonna bring down some of those shadows. We know we're already losing information, but if we just wanna cheat down a little bit and have some of that stuff just go full on dark black shadow, we can roll with that. We can also adjust the mid-tone to where we want that to be. See, if we bring that up brighter, we're gonna get some noise in these places. So I'm gonna bring that down a little bit. Just make this a really moody shot. And then if we want, we can bring up some of the highlights just to our comfort where we want that to be. I'm gonna keep it well below 100. Now from here, I wanna introduce you to the noise reduction tool. So I'm gonna close some of these out. All right, so we're gonna look at the effects browser. Click right over here on these squares, and we are gonna type in noise, noise reduction. Let's go ahead and drag that right on top of this clip. Now we're gonna see all along the top here, you got this dotted line, which is where it's being rendered bit by bit. So your hardware may not be able to handle this as well as say something newer like a new uh, M1 Mac. Let's say you're working still with the Intel Mac. What I highly recommend is taking just a piece of this. So we'll take the blade tool out. We'll clip and clip there and we'll just select this one little piece. So that way Final Cut Pro doesn't have to keep rendering this whole clip. So we'll drag the noise reduction onto just this clip here. Now let's go up here to the inspector. Then we're gonna click on the video inspector and here you'll see the effects. Um, and what we actually wanna do is we wanna take, it's very important to put noise reduction at the top. We'll bring the color wheels down. So what changing the order of effects does is it prioritizes which one is gonna take effect first. So we want the noise reduction to happen first, then the color wheels to go on top of that. So in looking at the noise reduction, there's a few options that we have. The first one here is the amount. So you've got low, medium, high, and maximum. So we'll turn off the sharpness and we'll turn the noise reduction on low. And we'll see what that does. There's hardly a change. So we're, wanna, we're gonna wanna boost that up a bit. Let's bring that up high. We can even zoom in just to get a better look. All right. Oh yeah, you can already see right here in these details where, where the smoothing is happening. So yeah, right in here, it, it goes from blocky to nice and smooth. It's, it's blending those colors together in the background. Let's go ahead and come back out here. Now the sharpness, this is another one we can adjust. This one you wanna be very careful with. You may not wanna even hit high on this current setting, unless you're going for a certain stylized look. So let's go ahead and throw high on here and we'll see, yeah, you can see like even, especially right here on the edges, anywhere there's an edge, you'll notice that sharpness will just kind of highlight all these pieces there. And yeah, we could just start with just very low, maybe go up to low. You might find that you never go above medium. So once we got the noise reduction to the point that we want it to be, we can expand that to the rest of the clip that is currently sitting without those effects in place. So we'll compress the T button. The T key will give us this control, which we can also find by uh, finding the, the tool in here for trim. So we're gonna trim these to the edge, trim this to the edge, and it looks like, yep, we got those render dots that gotta do their thing. Grainy footage reminds me of sand. It's coarse and gets everywhere, but I digress. We share new videos like this all the time to help with your Final Cut Pro projects. Subscribe to our channel and hit the bell so you can get notified when we release our next video.
So the, there could be a chance that the grainy footage that you're seeing, the low quality footage that you're seeing might just be in the playback. Maybe you recorded something and you're like, this should be in 4K, this should be in HD, this should look incredible because it looked incredible on my camera. First of all, let's give ourselves some space again. We're gonna close out the inspector and the effects. And then right up here under view, so this is the playback quality. So if you wanna view your project always at the highest quality, you'd wanna click this button here and make this selection. These just toggle. It's either one or the other, either better performance or better quality. I prefer using better performance because I'm always pushing the machine to the max. So that's that's one thing that you might be seeing. Better performance, it's not always, it's, it's not gonna play at a higher quality. So the other thing that could be happening is your media playback mode, uh, you may have set up some proxy files at the beginning of uh, importing your project in. Right now I don't have it, but if that's the case, you would see a lower quality image. So since we're missing it, what we can do is we can click here, click on the project, go up to file, click on transcode media, and we can create a couple things. So optimized media is media that is optimized for editing. Proxy media is a lower quality file that will allow you to edit with that lower quality file, but then when you export, you can switch back to the original media, the high quality media. Throughout that whole edit time, it saves you a lot of time waiting for things to load. So we're gonna go ahead and create both of them, and we'll see up here, this is our progress bar, these are the background tasks. Obviously, if you have a larger file, a larger library, this is gonna take a lot longer. And if we keep moving the mouse, it's gonna take even longer. But now what you'll see here is we are editing in proxy media. So we've got media that is a little lower quality. You see a lot of grain throughout the entire thing, but if you pause it and switch back to optimized original media, you'll see that quality return. Now, if you do use the proxy media method, what you're gonna wanna do is make sure that when you're done editing, that you switch, that you come back up here to view and you switch from proxy only back to optimized slash original. That way your project doesn't upload with that lower quality. So last tip before you go is consider the output. Is this footage gonna be viewed on a phone or a TV or a computer? What you wanna do is you wanna put it in those places. So even after fixing the grain, it can still show up pretty bad depending on the device that you're playing it on. So if it's gonna be played back on a TV, you wanna export this project, test it on a couple TVs, and see if you've truly fixed the footage. If not, do some comparison, bring down uh, the shadows, bring up the shadows, bring down the brights, whatever you gotta do in order to get the footage to work on the platform it's gonna be played on. We took some grainy footage that did not look that great, added some style, corrected that noise, blended it real nice. And with that, we've reached the end. Thanks for tagging along. Now this is definitely something those Bigfoot and UFO sighting videos could have used. Now that you've learned how to fix grainy video in Final Cut Pro, I've made another video about how to do the Ken Burns effect in Final Cut Pro. Click here to check it out.